Hi guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, pag-uusapan naman natin yung letter E sa ating application of differential calculus and that is the first derivative test or also known as FDT. Okay, so kung naalala nyo, uh, kumuha tayo ng critical points. So again, sa critical points, didetermine lang natin. Sinasubstitute lang natin yung value. Then didetermine natin yung value ng F prime. So F of X. Okay, so for example, yung value ng F of X is something na positive or higher okay then negative so malalaman natin kung maximum siya relative maximum or relative minimum pero hindi siya totally totally exacto okay so si first derivative test din determine na talaga totally kung ano siya kung siya ba yung relative maximum or relative minimum so again mas accurate to si first derivative test so para makita nyo ano yung gagawin natin dito so let's start so procedure so number one Uh, number number 1, differentiate the given function of y is equal to f of x. So, it's either kung may y prime or kung may f prime of x. So, basta differentiate mo siya with respect sa independent sa independent variable which is x. So, usually naman x yung ginagamit. Okay, so may time kasi for example, uh, ginamit natin t and s. Tapos, kung natin t is equal to 2s squared. So, meaning differentiate mo siya with respect sa s. Okay, yun yung natawag na independent variable. So, ganun siya una. Okay, pero more... Likely naman talaga, totally. Dito, ang gamit natin lagi is x. Okay, number 2 is equate the first derivative of the function y is equal to f of x. So, yung y prime o yung f prime of x, equate mo daw sa 0 and determine the roots of x or the roots for x. So, meaning parang katulad ng pagkuha ng critical points. Then, sabi nga ulit, number 3, substitute the value of x in the given function y is equal to f of x to de determine the critical points. So, ayun nga, yung first three procedure natin, yung 1, 2, 3, is just kunin lang natin yung critical points. Okay, then after nan, number 4, ito na yung sa ating first derivative test, dito na papasok. Okay, so test the first derivative of the function by substituting a value less than the abscissa of the critical points, then a value greater than, greater than. Okay, so may number 5, sabi niya 5a, so if the sign of the first derivative from a value less, lesser than to greater than, then changes from positive to negative. Okay, so again, from yan, pakayas na lang, that na form, from yan, from positive to negative, again, ha, from positive to negative, the critical points has a maximum local extrema. Then, 5B, if the sign of the first derivative changes from negative to positive, so again, lesser to greater than, the critical points has a minimum local extrema. And number 5, if the sign of the value less than, lesser than and at value greater than did not change, so meaning did not change equal to zero, Okay, or isa is kunyari, positive yung isa, tas positive pa rin sa sunod, ibig sabihin, a-apply natin yung second derivative test. So, meaning, hindi applicable si FDT. So, huwag kayo mag-alala, ganun ang gagawin ko sa next video natin. So, itatest ko muna sa first derivative, then malalaman mo na dapat second derivative yung gagamitin natin. So, again, highlight ko lang ulit yung gagawin. First is, meron tayong given na function. Okay, after nyan, ang susunod, kukunin mo yung y prime. Okay, i-equate mo yung y prime sa zero Okay, after mo equate yung y prime sa 0, find the value of x. Okay, then kunin mo daw yung critical points. So, aware na tayo paano kunin yung critical points. So, assuming ito yung critical points natin. For example, ang critical points natin is 1,2. Okay, so sabi, test the, the first derivative test. Ang gagamitin mo dito, sabi niya, no, uh, test the first derivative by substituting a value less than the abscissa of the critical points, then a value greater than the abscissa. So, assuming na isa yung critical points natin. Ito yung abscissa natin. Ang, 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 ang abscissa natin is yung x-coordinate. Okay, you note, know, ito yung abscissa, ito yung ordinate. So, ang gagawin natin, gagamitin mo yung y prime. So, kung ano yung nakuha mo y prime, yung hindi yung na-equate sa 0. Again, yung hindi yung na-equate sa 0. So, yun yung function natin gagamitin. Gagamitin ko yung y prime, kukuha tayo ng value dun sa abscissa. So, ang gagawin, kukuha ka ng less than sa kanya, tapos ng greater than. Dalawang klase yun. So, una, for example, ito yung 1. So, for example, yung x greater than uh, x greater than x sub 1. So, meaning, yung 1, kung, kung 1 yung abscissa natin, yung mas mataas, o yung less than, sorry, una pala less than. So, kukuha ka ng value na less than 1, so that is 0. So, meaning, una kong gagawin, substitute ko to at 0, or evaluate ko to at 0. So, may value na lalabas. Okay, next is, kunin ko naman yung value, x greater than x sub 1. So, since 1 yung abscissa, kukuha ka naman ng mas mataas, which is integer. Dapat yung mas mataas na kunin mo lagi is integer. Kasi ganito, may mga chances na yung abscissa natin is fraction or decimal. So, for example, sir, for example po, fraction yan. Kunwari po, sir, 1 half. Ano po kukunin namin? Siyempre, yung mas mataas sa kanya is 1. Yung mas mababa sa kanya is 0. So, huwag muna ilayo. 
Tandaan ma, wag mo nang ilayo. So, ang goal ko lang, uh, wag mo na siyang ilayo, saka wag ka ma- Uh, huwag ka malito na, sir, what if po negative po yung abscisa? Kung negative yung abscisa, for example, negative 1 yung abscisa, kunin mo yung less than, negative 2. Yung greater than, 0. Okay, so again, huwag mo na siyang ilayo, mas mabuti na yung malapit. Okay, then, kunin ko lahat ha, kunwari, tulad na ito. So, since napili ko, x is greater than x sub 1, ang pipiliin ko syempre is 2. Okay, so, kunin ko lahat yung y prime at 2. So, i-value. Kung baga sa substitute ko lang. After nun, may makukuha kang sign. May value na lalabas, to be honest or to be exact hey, sorry. Sorry. so for example, lumabas dito is positive then lumabas dito negative so sabi ng 5a if, if the sign of first derivative from the value less than, lesser than to the greater than so again, unahin mo dapat yung less than to the greater than changes from positive to negative so from positive to negative therefore, pwede natin sabihin na yung critical points na yun then the critical points sa minimum local extrema okay, so minimum lo local extrema siya otherwise, kung siya naman ay from negative to positive tawag naman sa kanya is maximum local extrema. Ah, sorry, yung una pala is maximum local extrema, pangalawa is minimum local extrema. Okay, so from positive to negative, maximum local extrema, from negative to positive, crit, minimum local extrema. Ngayon, kung nagkaroon ng isa sa kanya ng dalawa zero, or kunyari, kung nagkaroon naman ng kunyari positive, positive, or negative, negative, or may isang zero, isa positive, basta at least may isa zero, ibig sabihin, second derivative test tayo. Okay, so again, sinamarize ko lang yung gagawin natin para at least magka-idea ka, ano ba yung gagawin natin dito. So, syempre, proceed tayo sa example. Hindi ako papayag ng wala example tayo dito. So, nag ako na at least dalawang example para ma-determine natin yung gagawin. So, again, hindi ko na titignan tong test na to. Ano na tayo, proceed tayo right away para makita nyo yung gagawin natin. Okay, so, tapi ko lang kasi madalas yung aking sulatan. Yun. So, sabi, determine all the critical, so, determine all critical points, inflection point. So, first time nyo nakita to, sir, paano namin kukunin na inflection point? So, mamaya papakita ko. Ito, madali naman yung inflection point, to be honest. Okay, then, concavity and local extrema of the following. So, usually dito, pag may sagot ka, isasummarize mo siya into table. So, ilalagay mo lahat yung critical points, inflection point. Okay, then, determine mo kung anong klase siya, kung siya ba ay maximum, minimum. Okay, tapos kung ano yung concavity niya, upward, downward. So, usually, ang may concavity lang is yung critical points. Ang inflection points, walang concavity. Okay, kasi from previous video, kung naalala nyo, ang concavity is in between nung ating upward saka downward. So, doon natin usually nakikita yung concavity natin. Okay, so, we start with this. So, make sure na makinig ka mabuti. Medyo titingin lang din ako sa aking kodigo. Sa kasi magkamali, sir. Ayoko kasi magkamali na tayo totally. Okay, so proceed tayo dito para medyo kakaiba. Okay, so I think medyo ano ako, may mali ako na isulat sa given. So I think i-revise ko yung ating given kasi ang nakakopya ko is yung mali na ginawa sa amin last time. So that is 5 years ago. So 5 years ago may kinopya ako doon tapos ang nangyari is mali pala. So ito yung nailagay ko eh. Okay, so sorry agad kasi may mali agad sir pero at least yung given lang naman at least hindi pa tayo nag start okay so urahin ko to so ang given talaga for number 1 is y so hirapan natin konti y is equal to x cube minus 4x squared plus 4x okay so using FD, fdt so by fdt So, ang gagawin natin by FDT, so since first derivative test pa rin naman yung alam natin. So, by FDT, ano yung step 1? Hanapin natin yung step 1, step 3. Step 1 to step 3, hanapin lang natin yung critical points. So, I'm going to use yung other ball pen para at least magkaroon tayo ng parang at least may pattern. So, una is Y prime. So, we equate Y prime. So, differentiate with respect sa x. So, the derivative of y with respect sa x is just y prime. Then, derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared. Okay. Then, derivative of 4x squared is 8x. So, 8x lang. Tama? Then, derivative ng 4x is just 4. Okay. So, ayun yung ating function. So, again, importante ito mamaya. So, ito mamaya gagamitin natin to So, dalawang function yan, yung y, pag nagsasubstitute tayo sa y critical points. Pag magsubstitute tayo sa y prime, yun yung ating uh, sec first derivative test. Okay, so, ang sunod na gagawin, equate yung y prime to 0. 
So, equate natin y prime to 0. So, so y prime is equal to 0 or let or set. So, this is just 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay, now, using quadratic formula, factoring or something na completing the square, we need to determine the value of x. Kasi yun naman yung sabi. Para mahanap natin critical point, sanapin natin yung value ng x natin. So, since x squared siya, expected natin na dapat dalawa yung value. Okay, so, para sa madali, skip ko na yung method na lalabas yung ating tawag dito, lalabas yung lalabas yung ating tawag so, lalabas yung ating degree o yung value na x. So, kunin ko na yung 2. So, that is 3 minus 8. So, negative 8, then 4. Okay. So, lagay natin. Okay. So, equate. So, that is, yung value daw na isa is x, x sub 1 is equal to 2 times sa is 2 third. Okay. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, ang lumabas daw na value o yung factor nya, using factoring, okay, is 3x minus 2 and x minus 2 okay then by so by pag kinuha natin yung value syempre anong magiging value so una is 3x so by 0 product property sorry 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so therefore x dito is just equal sa 2 thirds so tama yung nakuha natin kanina then yung isa is x minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 2 so may dalawa tayong value na I determine. So, let me call this x sub 1. Let me call this x sub 2. So, sir, wala pong interval na given. Since walang interval na given, open tayo sa buong real number. So, meaning sa buong sa buong domain natin, sa buong real number. So, meaning pasok yan, gagamitin natin sila literal. Okay, so now, we need to determine the critical points. Kasi, sila ay absisa pa lang talaga totally. Okay, so, kailangan natin kunin critical points. So, ano ginagawa? Sa so, substitute natin x sub 1 doon sa original function. Substitute natin x sub 2 doon sa original function. So, para makuha natin yung ating critical point. So, una is, uh, at x is equal to, at x sub 1 is equal to 2 third. So, we have y sub 1 is just equal sa 2 third raise sa 3 minus 4 then 2 third raise sa 2 then plus 4 times 2 third. So, again, critical points is a substitute lang natin siya doon. Okay, so using calculator, pwede ko nang gamit ng calculator literal. So, ako skip ko na yun. Kung ano magagamit lang doon. So, y sub 1 is just 32 over 27. Okay, so yung unang critical points natin is, so yung unang critical points natin, o mamaya na, list ako na lang, is, ito no, tas ito. Tas kung nun, pangalawa kung natin is yung, uh, at x is equal to, so at x sub 2 is equal to 2, so y sub 2 is just equal sa 2 raised sa 3, minus 4, times 2 raised sa 2, then plus 4, times 2. Okay, so, y sub 2 is just equal sa 0, I think. So, say, 8 minus 16 is negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Okay, so, therefore, ano yung critical points natin? Lista ko lang ano yung critical points. So, yung critical points are CPR, dalawa una, x sub 1. So, so for P1 or P sub 1, P sub 1 is 2 third comma 32 over 27. Okay, P sub 2 is next is 2, comma, 0. Okay, so meron tayong critical points. So, next is punta tayo dun sa ating test for or substitute. Gamitin natin yung ating uh, first derivative test. So, ano sabi ng first derivative test? Using yung critical points, yung absisa daw ng critical points, kukuha tayo ng value less than, okay, probab dapat integer, Again, then, value greater than. Okay, so, una is at x or per critical point. So, guys, i-green ko na lang. So, dito ko na lang, no? So, for P1, angat ko konti. For P1, we have 2 third, comma, 32 over 27. Okay, so, ano yung value natin dito? So, ang unang value natin is at, lagay ko na lang, no? At, uh, at x sub 2 
at x is equal to 2 third. Okay, so unang value less than is x less than x sub 1. Okay, so hindi siya totally x sub 1 na to. So again, we determine ko lang siya as parang value dyan. Okay, so anong gagawin natin dyan? Uh, yung 2 third, kuha tayo ng less than dyan sa 1. So ano yung kukunin natin dyan? Uh, ang kukunin natin dyan na uh, mas mababa sa 2 third is 0. Automatic. Okay, so choose natin si 0. So we choose x is equal to 0. So choose x is equal to 0. Then anong gagawin? Isa substitute ko siya dito. Okay, isa substitute ko siya dyan. So kunin ko yung y prime. So, y prime is equal sa 3x squared. So, that is 3 times 0 square minus 8 times 0 plus 4. Okay, then therefore, y prime is just equal sa positive 4. So, pakilagay yung positive. Okay, okay next. Kunin natin yung value at x greater than x sub 1. Okay, so yung mas malaki kay x sub 1 natin. So, ito kasi x sub 1 natin eh. Naalala nyo, no? So, pangalan ako siya x sub 1, sorry. So, x greater than x sub 1. So, syempre, choose natin. Ano yung mas mataas sa kanya? Ob obviously, si 1. So, choose x is equal to 1. So, ganun pa rin, y prime. Since first derivative, this is 3 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1 plus 4. Okay, then y prime is just equal sa 3 Minus 8 is negative 5 plus 4, that is negative 1. So, kung napansin nyo, mayroon tayong observation, nagbago. So, this is positive to negative. Okay, so meaning, aware tayo, anong pangalan dapat ng P1? So, sabi, from, kung nag-change siya from positive to negative, okay, yung less than to greater than, nag-change sa positive to negative, therefore, maximum local extrema siya. So, alam natin na yung P sub 1 is maximum local extrema. Okay, so, yun yung una nating gagawin. Next is, at x is equal to x sub 2. So, I guess, gamit ako ibang ball pen. So, p sub 2. So, this is 2 comma 0. So, at x sub 2 is equal to 2. Okay, kasi yun yung absisa niya. So, ganun ko ulit tayo, no? So, una, ako din natin si x. Sana mapagkasya ko mamaya. So, x less than x sub 2. So, we need to choose... Siyempre, siyempre, sino yun? So, this is x is equal to 1 lang. Then, y prime pa rin. So, this is y prime is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1 plus 4. Okay, therefore, y prime is just equal to negative 1. Okay, next, kunin natin at x greater than x sub 2. Okay, so, hindi ko napansin na napakahaba pala niya. So, at x greater than x sub 2, we choose, so since 2 yun, so choose natin si 3. So, choose x is equal to 3. So, we have y prime is equal to 3 times 3 squared minus 8 times 3 plus 4. So, y prime is just equal to, so complete natin, no? y prime is equal to, I think this is 7, kasi 27 minus 24 is 3 plus 4, 7. So, this is positive 7. Okay. So, bilugan ko lang ulit. So, observe that it, change, it changes from positive to negative from positive. Okay. So, again, meron tayong nahanap na body na yan. Ngayon, next is hanapin natin yung inflection point, by the way. Okay. So, I guess pwede mo itong gawin, no? So, before ka siguro mag-check ng first derivative, pwede mo na hanapin yung inflection point. Gamitin na natin itong space na to. Okay, so for inflection point, gamitin ko na lang, no? Ang gagawin mo lang, diba ito yung y prime? Kunin mo yun sa per second derivative sa inflection point. Kunin ko yung second derivative. So, punta tayo, punta tayo dyan for inflection point. So, kunin ko yung double prime. This is equal sa 6x. Okay, minus 8. Equate ko yung y double prime sa 0. So, this is 0. This is equal to 6x minus 8. Then, solve for x. Obviously, 8. Obviously, x natin dito, so this is 8 is equal to 6x, or obviously x is equal to uh, 4 over 3. Okay, then, gagawin mo, isa substitute ko lang siya dun sa original. So again, sa substitute ko to sa original pa rin, hindi dun sa first derivative, sa original. So, substitute lang natin. So, this is just y is equal to 4 over 3 
raised to 3 minus 4 times 4 over 3 raised to 2 plus 4. So, y so, y i sub p. So, ganun na siguro pangalan natin. Y i sub p. Tapos ito ay x i sub p. Kasi yung inflection point. Okay. So, y i sub p is just equal sa by calculator. This is equal sa uh, I think 16 over 27. So, input ko konti. 16 over 27. Okay. So, yan yung ating inflection point. So, ngayon, lagyan natin ng summary, ng summary yung ating mga sagot. So, sorry, medyo nagulo or makakain yung space dito. Pero, hoping na makuha natin. Okay, so, again, ito yung inflection point. Wala pa yung inflection point totally. Lalagay natin siya as inflection point mamaya. Okay, so, una gagawin natin list lang. May mga points. So, I guess, lalagay na ako dito ng parang konting space. Gamit na tayo konting space. So, una gagawin ko, lalagay ako dito ng points. Ito yung summary. Parang spell yung summary or something na parang. Or table. Huwag pala summary. So, we have table ng ating mga sagot. So, una is we have the points. Okay. So, not this description. Okay, description. Okay, so sana magkasya. So, sign. Ito yung sign. So, okay, at x greater than x sub n. Yung pangalawa, sign at x greater than x sub n. Okay, then concavity and extrema. Okay, concavity. Concavity tapos extrema. Okay, so lagyan ko dito ng konting tuhit para magmukha naman siyang maayos. Okay, so again, lalagay natin mga points. Ano ba yung mga points? Ang uh, mga points natin, si siyempre yung dalawang critical points. P sub 1 is 2 third, 32 over 27. Okay, so lagay mo una yun. Say this is 2 third, 32 over 27. Okay, so ano description niya? Based sa ating table, ang description niya sa ay critical points. Dalawa kasi description. It's either critical or inflection point ka. So, siya ay critical points or CP. You can use CP. Okay, ano yung sign niya? At X less than. So, that is positive plus negative. So, yun yung binilugan ko. So, from less than this positive kasi ito ay negative. So, ngayon, from positive to negative, alam natin na siya ay relative maximum. Okay, or maximum. So, alam natin siya ay relative local maximum. So, since maximum siya, ano mapapansin mo kung maximum siya? Kung maximum siya, ano yung itsura ng graph? Ang itsura ng graph is pa pasad pasad pace kasi maximum so usually pag maximum pag ganto okay pag minimum pag ganyan so kung maximum siya ano yung concavity siya ay upward okay so again siya ay upward okay next is lista natin yung sunod ang sunod na value is 2,0 okay 2,0 is just CP also okay we all know that this is from negative to positive so since negative to positive siya ay minimum Okay, then this is downward. Okay, then lastly, ano yung huling points natin na kinuha? Yung IP. Yung IP natin is 4 third, 16 over 27. So, this is 4 over 3, 16 over 27. So, hoping na tama yung solution ni sir. Yan. Okay, so tuloy ko na lang. Hindi ko na nabuo. So, dapat box to ha. So, table nyo ako kasi tinatamad na ako mag-table. So, we all know that this is IP. So, this is inflection point. So, wala siyang sign yan kasi hindi naman natin tinest. Concavity, wala siyang concavity kasi aware tayo na yung siya ay yung siya yung point somewhere dito. So, aware ka na siya yung point somewhere dito. So, siya yung IP. Okay. So, hindi rin siya, hindi rin siya wala din siya extrema. Okay. So, therefore, ito yung ating summary of answer. So, ayan yung first derivative test. Okay. So, ano nangyari? Chinek ko lang, nilagay ko lang yung summary ng mga sagot natin. So, yung mga nilagay ko yung critical points, yung sign, yung changes. So, upward, that's maximum. Pag minimum, obviously downward dapat. Pag IP, wala siya. So, ito yung mga tanong. Sir, possible po ba na maraming IP or more than one yung IP? Yes, possible yon So, sir, kailan magiging possible? For example, ginawa kong raise to 4 yan. So, pag nag-first derivative ako, raise to 3. So, obviously, tatlo yung critical points. 
Tama. So, pag, pag race to 3 siya, tatlo critical points. Pag nag-second derivative ako, squared siya. So, meaning dalawa ay IP. Okay? So, possible na magdalawa ay IP. Okay? So, nakadepende kung saan ko nire-race. Kasi, example ko lang is just ganyan. Okay? So, hoping na na-guess mo yung idea natin. Again, another thing. Kailan mo malalaman na hindi applicable si first derivative? So, sir, for example po, ganito nangyari. Unang test ko po sa unang critical points is from positive to negative. Okay? Or negative to positive, vice versa. So, basta nag-change. Pagating sa pangalawa, nangyari, it's either negative-negative or positive-positive. So, therefore, FDT ka. Kahit may changes dito, kahit nalaman mo na siya ay relative maximum or minimum, tapos pagating sa pangalawang critical points na ginek mo is nag-positive-positive, kung baga walang changes or nagkaroon ng zero, automatic FDT ka. Okay, so mag-second mag derivative test ka. Mag-prepail yung ating FDT. So, syempre, mas madali to pag sa umpisa pa lang na-determine mo na na, kunyari, walang changes, 0, 0, or positive, positive, negative, negative. Mas madali yon Tigil mo na. Lagi mo lang, conclusion mo lang, this uh, FDT cannot be used since there, there exists a value that, that does not change yung less than to greater than. Okay, yung uh, sign nung greater than, nung less than to greater than. Okay, so mamaya may kita ko naman kasi sa example ko sa second derivative test is papakita ko sa inyo. Okay, so proceed tayo dito. I guess, higyan ko siya ng konting uhit para hindi makagulo. So sorry kung medyo nagkaroon ng kagulo-gulo siya si sir. Okay, so similar case, example pa tayo dito. So bakit ulit ako nag-example na isa pa sa ating first derivative test? So nag-example pa ako kasi kailangan, I think kailangan natin ng uh, dalawang example para dito. Kasi mas mahaba yung procedure niya kaysa kay Uh, per second derivative test. So, again, this is the given. y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 3. Okay, so, tama naman yung ating given. So, unang gagawin natin is kunin natin yung uh, y prime. Okay, so, kunin ko y prime or by fdt by fdt, this is y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, so meaning ito yung gagamitin natin na formula mamaya sa first derivative test. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin na may formula sa first derivative test. Next is, equate natin ito sa zero. So, lagay ko na lang nulit. Let y prime is equal to zero. So, this is zero is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Then, after this, pwede ka muna mag-simplify. So, before mo hanapin yung roots of x, pwede ka mag-simplify. Since naka-equate sa 0, dinivide natin yung whole term o yung buong equation by 3. Marireduce lang siya dito. So, this is just equal sa 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay. Then, ang very obvious ng ating magiging sagot, ang factor niyan is just x minus 3, then x minus 1, I guess. Kasi, negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So, this is 0 is equal to x minus 1, then x minus 3. Okay, now, we need to determine the value of at nating critical points. So, una is x minus 1. Okay, so therefore, x sub 1 is equal to 1. So, sa una, then x minus 3 is equal to 0. This is x sub 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so, para mas madali, pwede mo continue dito na eh. Okay, kumbaga, para hindi ka na mahirapan, continue mo na dyan yung paghahanap ng value ng y sub 1. So, kumbaga, para tuloy-tuloy na. So, another thing na pwede mong gawin. So, x sub 1, subject ko doon para makuha si y sub 1. So, this is just y sub 1. Okay, so, y sub 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 6 times 1 squared plus 9 times 1 plus 3. So, therefore, y sub 1 is just equal sa y, uh, 1 minus 6 that is negative 5 plus 9 so that is 4 plus 3 that is 7. Tama ba? So, is tama naman, no? So, that is 7. So, this is 7. Okay. So, therefore, p sub 1, lagi ko dito, p sub 1 is equal to 1 comma 7. So, at least pwede ka magtuloy-tuloy dito. Next dito, y sub 2. Okay, so this is 3 cube. No, 3 cube minus 6 times 3 is squared. Plus 9 times 3 plus 3. Okay, so recta lang natin. y sub 2 is just equal to compute, compute. 
Okay, so ang sagot daw niya is for y sub 2 that is 3. Okay, kasi that is 27 minus uh, 27 minus 54 plus 27. Taba. So, 27 plus 27, 54 minus 54 plus 3, that is 3. Okay, so this is just 3. So, p sub 2 is equal to 3 comma 3. Okay, so now, uh, meron tayo dalawang critical points. Critical points natin is P1. So, pwede mo lang hindi isulat na ganito. So, ganun na ako sige, nilista ko pa yun. No? CP is ganitong dalawa. So, pwede ganito naman isang other mong solution. So, kanya, ganun na lang. So, aware na ako ng critical points yan kasi dito ko naman ginawa. Baka lagyan mo na lang dito ng CP or something na ito ay CP. Parang indication na siya ay CP. Para hindi ka malito. So, CP. Okay, next is siyempre ganun ko na. Gawin na natin. Hanapin na natin sa inflection point para hindi tayo mahirapan. Okay, so gamit ako ibang ball pen. So, for inflection point, or for IP. So, from first derivative, kunin natin second derivative, then equate sa zero. So, this is y double prime. Okay, so, balik ko ka lang ha. So, anong nangyari, no? Uh, Nag-skip kasi, hindi ko napansin, habang nagsasalita ako na stop na pala yung video. So, anong nangyari, for IP, so, kunin natin y, der y second, second derivative, dun mula sa first derivative. So, second derivative, that is y double prime, then 3x squared, derivative nun is 6x, derivative ng negative 12x is 12, derivative ng 9 is 9. Okay, so ganun nangyari. So after na ni equate natin yung y double prime sa 0. So ano naging ano na. So sorry kasi nasulat ko. Di ko talaga napansin totally. Okay, then that is 0 is equal to 6x minus 12. Then that is 12 is equal to 6x or obviously x is equal to 2. So lagay natin siya as x sub ip is equal to 2. So ito yung ating absisa na inflection point. So after na kunin natin y sub ip using yung original equation. Again, kay critical points na inflection point, ibabalik lang natin siya sa original equation. So, so y i sub p, o sa original function rather, so y sub i p is equal to x cube, so that is 2 cube minus 6 times 2 square plus 9 times 2 plus 3. Therefore, this is just equal sa 8 minus, I guess, 6 times 4 is 24, so 8 minus 24 and something ganyan, so plus 18, plus 3, so that is 5, I guess. So, that is 5. So, nag-compute na lang ako, bahala na. Okay, so therefore, ano yung inflection point natin? So, ang IP natin, o yung P sub IP, is just 2, 5. Okay. Ngayon, balik na tayo dun sa ating dalawang points, sa ating dalawang critical points, kasi hindi pala natin alam. Kasi wala na tayong gagawin kay critical points, rather. So, unang is P sub 1. So, for first derivative, so for P sub 1, we have 1, 7. Okay. So, note na, i-observe natin is X sub 1 or at at X sub 1 is equal to 1. Okay, so we need to choose yung una. We have x less than x sub 1. So obviously, anong integer yung mas mababa sa 1? Obviously, si siya si 0. Okay, so 0 natin. So choose x is equal to 0. So after we choose x is equal to 0, substitute natin siya sa first derivative, which is yung y prime. Again, hindi dito. Kasi ito yung dapat na no? Supposed to be ito, sir. Ito po, hindi. Ito kasi yung iniquit natin yung 0 sa y prime, tapos sinim sinimplify. Ito kasi yung original equation talaga na totally. Okay, so this is just y prime is just equal sa 3 times 0 square minus 12 times 0 plus 9. So therefore, y prime is equal to positive 9 okay next is it choose latin at x greater than at x greater than x sub 1 choose latin syempre si x is equal to 2 okay so y prime is just equal sa 3 times 2 square minus 12 times 2 plus 9 so y prime is just equal sa compute latin that is equal sa I guess, wait, gabit ko lang. So, positive 9, that is 4 plus 3, 12. Minus 24, that's negative 12. Plus 3, ah, plus 9, that's negative 3. So, this is negative 3. So, nag-change. So, wala kang problema kasi nag-change. So, binibilugan ko para makita ko. So, pwede mo naman di gawin kung hindi ka nalilito. Totally. Okay, next is, yung pangalawang point. So, tipid-tipid lang tayo sa space. So, P sub 2 is equal to 3 comma 3. So, at x sub 2 is equal to 3, we have x less than x sub 2. 
So, we need to choose anong klaseng value yun. So, choose natin yung less than sa kanya. Choose, siyempre, si x is equal to 2. So, siyempre, may value tayo nun. So, y prime is equal to 3 times 2 square minus 12 times 2 plus 9. So, kung napansin may value tayo nun, so y prime is just equal sa negative 3. Okay, so, ito pa yung kinadali nyo minsan. Minsan talaga nag-meet yung value, kung baga rekta ka na lang. So, may reference ka na. So, next is x greater than x sub 2. So, we need to choose, sorry, choose natin x is equal to 4, obviously. So, that's y prime is equal to 3 times 4 squared minus 12 and squared plus 9. Okay, so, therefore, y prime is equal to, that is 4 squared 16 plus times 3 is 48, minus 24, that is 24, plus 9, that is, I guess, 27. Dama ba? So, that is 27, I guess, or, ulit, 16 times 3 is 48, minus 24, minus 24 is 24, 24 plus 9 is 27. Okay, so, I think choose ko yung number na yun, no? 3 times something. Secure ko lang para hindi na ako magkamali. Square minus 12 times 2. Ah, sorry, 4. 4 yun. Buti na lang nakita ko. This is 4, 4. Four plus 9. That is positive 9. Okay, so, buti chinek ni sir. Okay, so, kung napansin mo, nagbago rin. So, it changes from negative to positive. So, aware tayo ano yung dapat nating pangalanan dyan. Okay, so, let's have the summary or the table. So, for the table, I guess, I'm going to use ito na lang. So, for table, so, again, ito yung gusto ko makita ng sagot. Finally, ito. Ito yung solution part lang. So, gusto ko makita ng summary dun sa table. So, we expect na meron tayong dalawang critical isang inflection. So, since we have dalawang critical, so, una, lagay ko yung points Okay, so, una yung points, tapos description. Okay, next is sign at x less than x sub n. Okay, then sign at x greater than x sub n. Okay, then we have the concavity. Then lastly, we have the extrema. So, hindi ko na-expect na ganito kahaba yung video na to. Okay, so sulit ko na lang. Bilis ako konti. So, we have 1,7. Okay, this is CP. Okay, 1,7 CP. So, sign niya from less than. That is positive to negative. So, this is positive to negative. Since positive to negative siya. So, ito ay upward. Ever tayo kasi maximum siya. Upward, tapos siya ay maximum. Okay, next is 3,3. 3,3, syempre CP pa rin siya, critical points. Siya ay from negative to positive, so that is downward. Downward and minimum. Okay, next is the IP or the inflection point, that is 2,5. 2,5 is the description is IP, then wala nang changes. Okay, so therefore, and yung ating summary of table, or yung summary of answer natin sa number 2. So, hoping na na-gets mo what is FDT. So, feeling ko naman na-discuss ko siya or nasabi ko lahat ng pwede mo maging tanong pagdating dito. So, again, pag x to the 4th, expect mo tatlo yung critical, dalawa yung IP. Pag x to the, x to the 5th, apat yung critical, tatlo yung IP. Okay, so ayun yung mga possible, possible na mangyayari dito. So, hoping na na-gets mo to. Okay, at the same time, uh, hoping na marami ka natutunan. So, at least mas accurate ito kaysa dun sa ginagawa atin last time na kinukuha ko siya by relative maximum or relative minimum. So, again, thank you for watching. Hoping na panoorin yung next video that the next video is all about the second derivative test.